Hey folks, this is Dennis Rostaro from GroundedReason.com. Welcome to the first ever Grounded Reason podcast. Every week, my friend Joe and I will discuss technology, how it relates to everyday mortals like us, and talk about other general geekery. We want this podcast to be fun and interactive, so please submit comments on GroundedReason.com, and your question may just show up as a topic in a future podcast episode. In this episode, Joel and I discuss my reasons for ditching cable TV and what it's like to actually cut the cord. Cord cutting has been a major focus of GroundedReason.com thus far, so it only makes sense that it's the topic of our very first podcast. This episode also touches upon my bug phobia and how much time people don't realize they lose watching commercials. All right, so let's get the show started. Go ahead and hit the button. No, 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 that, that, not that one. No, the green one. The one with the triangle. That one. I'm watching Penny Dreadful. Seen that okay, show? yeah, yeah, yeah. I love okay. Penny Dreadful. Yeah, I just started. It's, it's 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 pretty good, but it's really scary. I mean, and Allison usually watches scary stuff with me, but she's off in the bedroom watching. I don't know, The Path, some kind of. Oh, that's like a new show on like Prime, I think, or uh, yeah, maybe it's Hulu. Right. So so she's so I'm sitting there watching Penny Dreadful, and she knows I'm watching something scary, and I see Gary, kind of like my cat. Gary is my cat. <laughs> just you know, <laughs> so he's. He's like sitting there and um, he's kind of creeping like like he's going to he's stalking something. And I hear like this kind of scratching noise from behind the television. So then I like get up and I walk over to the TV and he kind of gets behind me like, go ahead and get him, daddy. (laughs) And uh, so so I'm expecting to see a mouse and I see something. It's kind of big like a mouse, but it's kind of slow and like moving kind of methodically. So I was like, what is that thing? And then I noticed it's on, like, okay, my antenna, like, comes into the house. It's, like, coaxial cable. Uh-huh. So it's, like, sitting there, like, on the coaxial cable, like, Mission Impossible style, like, arms over the cat cable, like, kind of, like, legs, like, kind of how you're going across a ravine it on a, a wire. baby sloth. Baby sloth. Well, you kind of, you know what I mean, how, like, yeah, you're hanging yeah, across yeah, the totally. wire and you go, yeah. So, so he's doing that. He's walking up. This thing is, like, huge. What it, was it? Let me. I get to that. Because right, I'm right, sitting there. It's because like I don't even know. It's like it's like a beetle, but <laughs> I mean, but it's out. it's like as big. <laughs> it is like as big as um, I like a uh, like a big Easter egg kind of like uh. when you put the toy in for the kids. It's like bigger. It's like about a little bit bigger than that. And I'm just like, what? What is this? And <laughs> so I go to get a newspaper, and I and I walk up to the thing and. I'm like ready to hit it, but you know how like um, in Usual Suspects, you know how um, like Verbal Kent, yeah, when he asked him about like and he had a shot at Kaiser Sose and and he says, <laughs> "What if you miss?" Yeah, he's like he's like never shoot the devil in the back. Like, what if you miss? And that's, it's kind of how I felt. Like I'm sitting there with the newspaper in hand and I'm ready to whack the thing and I'm like, so so when I go to I go I, I like wind up and then the thing starts flying. Oh, Jesus. And then at that point, I let out a scream that sounded kind of like, and Allison is like, because I talked to her, she comes out, and she's like, man, this must be terrifying, the show. She thinks it's the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I would not make that noise over a television show. And she sees this thing, and she is like, oh, my God, that's crazy. And she goes and grabs a cup and a piece of paper, walks up to it, puts the thing in the cup, goes out front, and, and chucks it out, out the door. Now, the thing's so big, I swear it was an audible thud <laughs> when it hit the lawn. Did you figure out what it I was? I did, I did. And, you know, I think, like, I, I, Allison took a picture, Allison, my wife, she took a picture of it. Um, and I'll, I'll get it up on, on the site, on groundedreason.com, so you can take a look at this thing. It is massive. It's called a Hercules beetle, an Eastern Hercules beetle. And I uh, I put it out on like Facebook, and uh, people were saying things like, "You're so lucky to have seen one." I'm like, "I'm lucky you didn't eat me." I mean, yeah. this thing is like, I'm gonna move. That's <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> well, that's... as like, I grew up in the city, and it's like my job is is like rodents yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Bugs, forget about it. I just I'm not. I thought that was like, uh, I thought it was a rat or something, which I I can deal with. I, I but I don't need a giant insect. In my house. Yeah, seriously, it is. And if it was a spider, I swear to God, I would have burned the house to the ground. Yeah. 
That's just my feeling. On <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, what are we talking about today? Oh, we're sp- <laughs> sorry. We're 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 supposed to be talking about uh, cutting the cord. Oh yeah, cord cutting. Television. Yeah. So so when are you going to join us, Joel? <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm here. This is Joel. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you all probably know Dennis from uh, Grounded Reason. So today we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, cord cutting. And Dennis, I guess the big question is like, what first, why did you decide to cut ties with cable television? Well, I mean, originally, I mean, the answer is not very sexy. It's the answer right. probably everyone has. Money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was... Uh, yeah, money can be kind of sexy. I mean, yeah, yeah. But we wanted, you know, I, I wanted to save some, like like most people, you know. But, I mean, they, typically the candidate response when you ask somebody is like, oh, it's expensive. Because right. <laughs> it is. It's like we were paying like 200 bucks. And um, so, you know, you go and uh, your internet, your TV, your phone, all together, you're getting up at six, uh, like 200, 200 bucks a month. And I work, I actually, actually work a, a, a real job. I just don't blog all the time. And at the time, I was furloughed at the time. This was like right. a few years back. And uh, I'm sitting around and money's on the mind. So we're looking at what we can cut. And that was like the first thing to go. And we, were, we already had Netflix. So, and we had an Xbox 360. Okay. And I went and bought an antenna. And that got us like the ABC, you know, CBS, all the networks, right. broadcast networks. And um, so we used, we used the Xbox 360 to watch Netflix and we're like, we're just going to, we're going to do it because we're just going to get rid of cable and see what happens. Um, see if we like it. Free TV from the antenna for broadcast. And then we would watch like, uh, we were worried about things like Walking Dead. Um, we well, can get all the O's games or at least most of the O's games that are local with the antenna. Right? No, no, actually there, uh, you can't because of Masson. It's all on, uh, it's on your regional oh, sports networks. Oh yeah. But, we, I have a solution for that um, that I probably get into in another show. It's a bit complicated, okay. um, but yeah. there is kind of a there's a way to watch uh, local sport like your local baseball teams online. Awesome. So yeah, but definitely I'm, I'm going to get to that. So basically, get back. I was uh, frugality's on the mind, and we're looking at how we can watch um, you know the cable shows because that's really what it is. I mean, yeah, OTA is free. Amazon gives you a full season, current season. For like twenty five bucks, like Walking Dead, whole season, and we started to take inventory of the shows we're watching, and majority of them were on network television, or we had a means to watch them yeah. online for free because there's a, like a lot of places. Like yeah, Prime's got a lot these days. Yeah, yeah, and so so we we're that we're we're going through it, and it, the count was like five five shows we couldn't watch without cable but all on amazon all for 25 bucks so if you take those five shows over the over the year and divide by 12 it came down to like 10 bucks a month so right. so an internet connection was like 50 and then it was 10 dollars a month for the cable shows broadcast is free like i said so you know you throw in an extra i think we picked up prime we had netflix so i can't count that so for like 70 ish bucks 70 75 pretty much all our tv watching handled so net one hundred and thirty a month, yeah, and that that ends up that adds up really quick. So, uh, how did you actually like make the leap? What did you do? Like, um, like I know a lot of people struggle with that. Like, what? Where do you get started? Well, you know, I guess like w- with my kids and me too, like the best way to like learn or like do is just, just do it. Like, and that's kind of like with bicycle, right? I'm like, I remember a kid with the training wheels. She's like, she was like six. We're trying to teach her a year with the training wheels, no progress whatsoever. At some point I just said, we're going to take these training wheels off and go for it. And, uh, she was riding a bike within an hour. So when it comes to cut, if you sit and you, you question it and you think about it, you won't do it. You just kind of have to drop it. And, uh, the best part is, all these services give you free trials. Right. So you can fire up a few free trials. Like a lot of them last a month. Some are seven days, but a lot of them last a month. And then you can just give them a shot, cut cable, just cut yep. it off totally, see how it goes. If you know you don't like it, 
They're not going to reject you. Yeah, we were you saying this the other day? We were talking, and you're like, it's not like they won't take your money. Yeah, they're like, when you, you are, come back, you right? were mean like, to me. I'm not yeah, going to take no, your it's money. Not, no. they, Comcast, as bad as they are, they're not a jilted girlfriend, right? They will, they will take you back um, if you decide to pay them again. So. I, I could see that. Yeah, I mean, and like we're we're in the seventy dollars range, and I mean, I, I've heard some people say things like, um, "Oh well, I saw a promo the other day, and you can get, you know, your TV channels and everything for like seventy bucks." And I was like, "Yeah, that's what the promo says," but then they don't tell you that the box rental is twenty bucks a month or whatever. If, yeah, and if you want to yeah. do the multi room, it's more, and then they charge you per box, and then there's like the modem rental, right? And then there's like. All these other deals that are like kind of like factored in that are good for like a year and then the second year. Sure. By the time you're done, it's like 140 bucks. It's like it doubles. I mean, I've done the math on them. They typically double in price, all those promos and everything. So we you, the trick is trying to like avoid those traps um, and don't don't get, you know, don't get, compare what you're going to save uh, from streaming and from an antenna to what your actual bill is and not and don't fall for any of those promos later down the line say oh it's cheaper now because it's not (laughs) i mean and again the promos only last so long right like so yeah and you're factored into a two-year contract typically where these things are month to month and that's like a really cool part about it too is like when now i mean now i subscribe to pretty much anything because Mm -hmm. of the blog i mean i need to keep up what's what's you know what's going on with the streaming services because i write about them well, sure. grounded reason. Um, so we're paying, you know, more now just to keep up for the blog. But originally we would pick up like, like we like Orange is the New Black. So, right. and I love the Marvel shows on, on Netflix. Sure. So what we would do is we would pick up, binge watch the shows we want. So pick up Netflix for like a month or two and drop it. And you can kind of, you can juggle subscriptions like that. Like if you want to stay on top, you could really save yourself some money. You like Game of Thrones, you pick up HBO for a few months, you drop it. Right. Well, and can't you do some of the subscriptions through Prime as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, Amazon Prime has a bunch. They have Showtime and Stars now. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. And Showtime has Penny Dreadful, which is one of the shows we were talking about earlier. Right, right. I was yeah. watching it on, uh, I think, Netflix. I get sometimes I, I think it's on Netflix. I have yeah. to check it. But uh, Well, and Stars has Evil Dead for those that are watching the new Evil Dead series. So I guess the big thing is, like, it seems like it's worked out pretty well for you. I mean, like, obviously, you you found uh, something that's working for you because you decided to start writing about it. Um, yeah, well, the kids, I mean, the kids, they were, like, very hesitant at first. So, because, you know, children, they kind of get into, you know, routines. Right. So we were like, we're getting rid of the television as you know it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, there was How'd like that go over? almost like pitchforks and, yeah, and fire, yeah, you know, and expect. I think a guillotine was rolled roll out at one point. Um, but no, after a bit, um, like a few days went by and the, and we, we gave them their own Netflix profile. It's like because there's a kid's profile on Netflix. Yeah. And we said here and they were like, why haven't you shown this to us? Yeah, we use that. We use that for our kids. They love it. It's, it's crazy. I mean, now, like, they don't know what to do if there is cable. Like, if yeah. we go to, like, a hotel, they want Netflix. They want yeah. to be able to watch stuff on demand. Well, because they can pick up where they left off, right, with whatever they're watching. Right. And Like, I always worry that our kids are going to go in. On, on my account rather than the kids' account. Yeah, yeah. That, but they, but they always steer clear of it because they don't want to watch the shows that I watch. No, bad news. Yeah, definitely. You don't you don't want them on yeah. that. So <laughs> I, I mean, like another thing you've talked to me about is about uh, commercials, and I mean, obviously you get a little of that with Hulu, but with most of the other major services, you don't. Um. Well, when it comes to when it comes to watching, you know. Um, cable TV, you're getting like 15 minutes per hour now of commercials. Have you listened to like terrestrial radio, by the way, lately? Mm -mm. Okay. I was like listening to it and I drove to work, which takes like 20 minutes. And I don't think I heard anything except commercials. Yeah. It's crazy now. It is like insane on how much. And I think, I don't know if cable is yet that bad, but it's like 15 minutes of commercials per hour on cable TV. (laughs) And... (laughs) 
I was uh, I was reading uh, Nielsen. Nielsen says states that like the average American household watches like four hours of television per day, which is pretty crazy. And if you take that into account, and you're talking what's that? It's twenty eight hours a week, you know. So fifteen minutes times twenty eight. Um, okay, so so let's just say that you could watch all the commercials up front, and right. you, then you get free, you know, just content all year. That would be like in a clockwork orange style chair, eyeballs peeled open, watching commercials for about, uh, if I'm doing the math right, 15 days. So 15 days of straight commercial watching uh, on cable television, where a lot of that's totally eliminated from most services. Because like Hulu, Hulu does have some commercials, but you can pay a little bit more and get a uh, completely commercial free Hulu. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so it's like I think it's eleven ninety nine to Instead do the tier seven, seven night, yeah, or something yeah. around there. It might be ten ninety nine. Extra four check. bucks. Yeah, it's on the site. It's on groundedreason dot com. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, we we love it. It's been it's been great. Um, kids kids are digging it. Wife initially hesitant, but was like, let's give it a shot. And now I think she thinks it's probably the coolest thing we've ever done. Um, because, um, our TV watching has just, the quality of the TV has improved because now, um, I've realized you don't have a metric or a measurement to kind of gauge your television. Like you just watch what's on, um, usually or out of habit sometimes. I mean, I remember watching shows where I'd get halfway through the season. It's like, why am I still watching this? This is pretty awful. Yep. Um, you don't really fall into those traps because, especially if you do like the Amazon Prime, I mean the Amazon Instant Video method, where you're buying the season, then because right. you're you're putting a dollar value on a show. Yeah, of course. So right. it's effectively you know you're you're putting a dollar value on your time that you're investing in, it, and it makes you very conscious of that time right. investment. So when I walk up and I'm like, all right. Whole season of the current Walking Dead, you get to watch it one day after a show airs on AMC. So, like, if the new episode comes on AMC on Sunday, we're watching it Monday night. Right. So it's twenty five bucks, and you get the season, you know, on Mondays as opposed to Sundays. Um, that's worth it to me. The twenty five dollars for that one show. Now, Real Housewives, probably not. <laughs> so, yeah. so those things will happen. You won't get stuck on garbage shows. You will never, yeah. you know, because. They're not there, and you're. It's an active experience now. You're deciding what you watch. You're picking your content. You're. You're not gonna be because it's hidden in the bundle. You mm-hmm. know, you get to watch marathons of I Love the Eighties because it's it's hidden. The cost of it is hidden from you. Yeah. Well, you've seen and spread out. You've seen else. when you come over here. Like sometimes we'll just have Bloomberg News or something like that on, and I know it's you know relatively meaningless information and i'll just be watching it because it's got pretty lights and shiny green arrows and red arrows and i and i have a bit of a hard time turning it off yeah and well, what's we're creatures of habit and we're all kind of like that i mean i was the same way um you know i'd come home i'd throw espn on and i don't even i mean i like baseball i like football and i like hockey but why am i watching a tennis why am I watching tennis highlights? <laughs> I don't like tennis, yeah. but I'm watching it. It's just on. It's there. And it's just like, and and that is another kind of hidden gem of cord cutting is the time that you get back because you're not really, you're right. not doing that anymore. You're not falling into the half hour, like I love the 80s show or the marathon that's five hours long and you're sitting on your couch, like watching it all day because you fell into like a TV trap. Those it just doesn't happen. Instead, like I've had the time in the time that I'm saving now, I've started a blog. Um, we have more family game nights. Uh, I started listening to podcasts, which are, you know, a great medium, you know, it's a really enjoyable thing that I was missing out on completely that I like now. I've had like four yeah. or five different podcasts. I'm a, I follow. I'm a huge fan of podcasts. I listen to tons of them. So. Right. And I mean, I'm reading more and it's just like, Oh, you know, it's there's just more time in the day. I feel like I'm watching better. I'm enjoying my TV watching more now than I was before right. because I was it was kind of like you almost take it kind of for granted. And there's just so much content that you'd stop just appreciating like good shows for what they are. Um, and, and now it's like since it's you're putting value on everything that you're going to consume and it's a lot cheaper. 
Yeah, the other thing that strikes me as kind of uh, interesting is the quality of the shows that's coming out on these stream serv- streaming services as native content has really gone up. I mean, obviously, there's the big ones like House of Card and I think Orange is New, uh, New Black. That's great. Oh, well, Jessica Jones. like it's fantastic show. The performance that David Tennant put on mm-hmm. on that show for you Whovians out there. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, Whovians. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it really was. It was a great show. Daredevil was another one that I, I absolutely love. And that's what I like, because in, in the Marvel movies, which I love, yeah. don't get me wrong, but they don't have the grit, because Daredevil, the comic book, was originally a pretty gritty comic, yeah. especially the Frank Miller years, and I think this show just captured it perfectly. Yeah, I, I'm a very big fan, and I especially, I, I think it's the second season um, with Punisher and all of that, supposedly it's just a spinoff of Punisher, um, and of, uh, what's his name, um, from Jessica Jones. Oh, yeah, Luke Cage. Uh, Luke yeah, Cage. a Luke Cage show. I'm really season. looking forward to the Luke Cage one. Oh, definitely. I thought that guy was fantastic. All around solid acting. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, they got a good direction, I guess. It's yeah. Better. They all, they, they were perfect. Well, they're paying, paying up for the money, or paying up the money, you know, to get the quality directors and actors. And they're starting to pull really big actors. I mean, obviously, like I said, there's Kevin Spacey. But, I mean, even Daredevil pulled Vincent D'Onofrio to oh, yeah. Kingpin. Yeah. And he's yeah. a pretty big name. So uh, the quality of the services is actually going up. Another one that's little known that's actually really, really good is uh, first season of a show called Mad Dogs. Uh, if you ever get the chance. I'll definitely great, check Great, great show. Um but yeah, I, I've I've been really pleasantly surprised by how many of these services are putting out great content, particularly uh, Prime and Netflix. I mean, I think those are the two shining stars. But who's stepping up its game? Oh yeah, they're they're having a there's a couple good originals um, that they're doing. Is that the one? I have to check where the, I think. I'm where the, pretty sure the path. The path, yeah, the path is, is on a Hulu. Hulu. Yeah, and, and that's uh, supposed to be good. Yeah, Allison's been trying to get me to watch it. I've been a bit busy as of late, so I haven't had a chance to. Um, So that's been impressive, and I mean, like, I would, you know, if it was a choice between uh, having to watch only the Daredevils and Jessica Jones and not Games of Thrones and and Walking Dead, it would be hard, but it's not a choice, is your point. No, you just pick it up and drop it. Like, if you want it, I mean, Game of Thrones runs roughly, I think it's 10 shows. Yeah. So and they, they don't I don't think they break any weeks. So you're talking two and a half months. Yeah. So you're gonna pay for three months of HBO at forty five bucks. So that's a bit expensive for Game of Thrones, but yeah. it's over a year. I but mean, that's a show I can't miss personally. It's right. Like, I watch it the night of. Right, but if you look at forty five bucks over a year, you're talking like less than yeah. four bucks a month. It's a lot less than a movie cost. So I could exactly. Do, I could um, do. And then you know to pick up the Netflix, depending on how you know how fast you binge watch something. You know, you can kind of just pick it up and. and Unfortunately, I fall into the category of watching them very fast, but <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, and we've kind of kept on because we we actually kept our Netflix because um, my nine year old, she, I don't know, she is so she's she's a cool cat. She fell in love with the original Twilight Zone. I let her watch one episode. Not really hard not to. I let, I let her watch one episode, and that's our binge watch, like, guilty pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, and she loves it. I think her favorite one is the one where the... Um, her favorite one is kind of an odd one that I, I would pick for, like, think a kid would like. But um, it's the one where, like, eh, it's called The Invaders, I think. And okay. it's like a woman in a cabin in the... Like, but it's... You can tell it's, you know older like maybe it feels like 17th 18th century but she's by herself okay and um she's it's silent she doesn't there's no dialogue and these aliens kind of land they're tiny though like compared to her they might come up to her like you know halfway up her knee like up to her shin and the whole time she's kind of fighting them off and freaking because there's like three freaking out and there's like because she's there's three of them and they have like a like different weapons that are you know that were way advanced oh for her. So, but I mean, it's nothing. You know, it's right. It's, right, it's, it's Twilight still. Zone. So the weapon is like a light ball. It's yeah, like, a, yeah, yeah. like a exactly. It's like a, a tube, a, a, a vacuum tube on the end, and it's like it lights up. So, but she like acts like it's like you know sure the worst thing she's ever encountered. Lightsaber looks painful. So, right. um, 
So watch that, and 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 at the end, it's great. I mean, spoiler alert, if you you know from this <laughs> four fifty year old episode of the Twilight Zone. I don't think you have to put a spoiler alert for fifty something. At the something end year old of show. the episode, she finally takes them all. She gets she gets she takes them all out, but the last alien is radioing back to Earth in his ship. Uh, we were the invaders, and she loved that one. She thought it was trippy. like, the, yeah, she thought it was like the coolest one. And ever since that one, she is just hooked. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like, so when I was a kid, uh, one of the shows, and I used to watch this on uh, uh, Baltimore Fifty Channel Fifty. Oh yeah, we're yeah Baltimore. We're, we're from Baltimore. Yeah, and if you, I mean, if just to give a little context, it it really is. It's it's like eighty five percent The Wire. I mean, yeah. it's like eighty five percent The Wire. The neighborhoods are like The Wire, and then maybe 10%, 10 to 12% of the neighborhoods are like out of John Waters' films. And then there's maybe like 3 to 5%. It's something out of a Barry Levinson film. But it's surrounded by The Wire. It's like... <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's very, very much so. <laughs> it's exactly what and, it is. Uh, so we are the stereotype that everyone thinks we are. Right. Um, <laughs> and, and so, anyways, Baltimore 50 basically played on a continuous loop. Um on Sundays, uh, Kung Fu Flicks. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then the Nightmare Theater after that, right? Nightmare Theater. Yeah, yeah. But before that was uh, Three Stooges, and sometimes Roundabout at the end, with after either before or after Nightmare Theater, was Alfred Hitchcock. Ooh. And that was one of those series that I keep putting on my, like, to-do list from these services, because you can get them all now. Right. I um, mean, you can't get that anywhere else. I mean, short of buying them, and I'm not going to buy them all. But I believe you can get them all on Prime uh, now. And um, I've wanted to do that, just like the the. Uh, well, they do zone. they do monthly now too with Prime. You don't have to buy like the year subscription. Well, we anymore. do it for the shipping as well. Oh, I know because that so. it pays for itself, really. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, if you if you sh- if you do, I mean, I don't Christmas shop. I just I Amazon <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. So you're well, getting and. We've got little kids, so we're constantly being like, "Oh my God, we're out of diapers!" So right, yeah. So next and thing you know, I gotta express. Uh, yeah, Amazon. Order. It's funny. It's kind of like bring this to me, and they just do. It's like we get all our grocery. Allison's been trying this the past few weeks. Yeah, well, because she- here in the Baltimore area, they're piloting the the on the day service. Yeah. Yeah, well, she it's she full grocery shopping from yeah. Amazon. They we come do too, and with dry ice, well, like, like they bring dry ice. There's a kumquat right. and a pack of diapers and a and bottle of Jack Daniel. Okay, so they don't. Did do, you guys used to sell they, books? I mean, yeah, <laughs> they don't do liquor, but yeah, but they they bring just about everything. They did. Think it of. was in in the nineties. Book. Yeah. It's like and not like ebook. Like, like, no, they like, actually started with with paper uh, initially. Well, uh, actually, <laughs> yes. But they, they actually started with obscure books. That's what their niche was oh, originally. That's right. yeah, 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 yeah. And then they expanded to all publications, and they expanded to taking over the world. Right, right. Yeah. Like, and now you, know, you can buy, um, you know, some duct tape, um, rubber gloves, and um, uh, hot dogs. Yeah. And they'll send it. It comes yeah. right to your house. I'm a little worried that that's where your mind goes, but yeah. Well, no, I was just trying to think of three random things. That those you know, were one might buy. only so random. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I I I think on that note, maybe we call it. We call it. What do you think? Uh, well, yeah, I think we we you know we covered we covered most of it. I mean, you know what we learned today, Joel. Well, uh, well, Dennis, <laughs> I think what we learned today was that cutting the cord from cable is not as hard as a lot of people think. There's a pretty good value proposition, both in time and actual money. Um, it's best just to jump in, start figuring things out. Obviously, on the blog, there's lots of things that will help people get started and so on. And then what you will you should uh, see when you get done is a lot of uh, wonderful content that's out there in the resonant streaming services and uh, a lot of extra time for you to do other things that you're not having absorbed by meaningless television. Yes. I learned I'm very afraid of Beatles. Yeah, well, there's that's, that, that's, too. That's, yes. That's we all learned that Dennis is scared of large Beatles, and frankly, I am. And that my scared. wife wears the pants in the house. Um, so on that note, 
I'm going to head on out of here. Take it easy, Joel. Yeah, you too, Dennis. Thanks for checking out our first ever episode. If you liked it and you want us to make more, please give a good review on iTunes or share it in Stitcher. Not only would I be indebted to you for life, but it would help the show rank higher in their search and introduce the show to more people. We'll be back next week with more nerdery and explain how I watch live TV without paying for cable. Remember to leave your comments on our website, and they might just be the topic of a future podcast episode. Just go to groundedreason.com and click on podcasts.